How's it going lads? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today what I've got for you is a little talk about icon swaps, when we can expect them and what we can expect from icon swaps. For cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. Now, for those of you that are new to icon swaps, we can kind of explain it and talk to you guys about icon swaps and what they are. Icon swaps has been something EA brought in last year. Um, it's an objective based, uh, grindable way to get icons into your team. Uh, essentially, EA would drop uh, 24 tokens, I believe, or 23 tokens, um, for you to grind, uh, throughout, uh, objectives, whether that be from, um, you know, a rival's objective, a squad battle's objective, something easy like scoring goals, uh, they would drop those over the space of about two months or one full season in the game, um, and, or, 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 or two full seasons, actually, I'm making the right hash of this, aren't I? Essentially, it's, it's a way to grind free icons into your team by playing the game and earning objective players. That is the, the core, simple competency of icon swaps and it's been something that has been very popular over the last year actually people really enjoyed it in fifa 20 and it's something they're bringing again in fifa 21 so i thought we'd talk about it as it's pretty imminent upon us now ea dropped the pitch notes at the start of the game talking about icons icon spcs etc and they also put in about icon swaps and it says lastly the hugely popular icon swaps will also be returning in fifa 21 as a reminder this is how icon swaps work you complete token objectives earn player tokens and redeem them for icons or other pack rewards available in icon swaps Based on learnings, feedback, and the return of Icon SBCs, there will be a handful of changes made to Icon Swaps this year. It will start during December, so in this month we're in now, I would say pretty soonish, maybe over the next few days, um, there'll be a greater mix between packs and uh, uh, players with a higher increase of pack rewards. Uh, packs will be made available at lower player token value to uh, make more players engage with the program and no specific version of an icon, e.g. base uh, released to an SBC will be released again through icon swaps and vice versa. Essentially, if we get an icon SBC before icon swaps, they ain't getting into icon swaps no matter what. So we are not going to see, um, for example, Figo, Veron, uh, Hernandez, uh, you know, any of the Burkamp, any of the icon uh, players that we've had via SBC so far, we're not going to see in icon swaps, which is pretty much why I think icon SBCs have been a little bit slower to release this year. We've only had six so far in the last couple of months because EA don't want to overdo it with the icon SBCs and limit them to how many players they can use in swaps. Now, if we take a look at the first uh, Icon Swaps team from FIFA 20, uh, I believe this is uh, the first one we got. Um, this is not in order of uh, the highest sort of player available, if that makes sense. I'm trying to position this as well so you guys can see it a little bit better. That's a little bit easier to see. Uh, anyway, um, so taking a look at this, uh, some of the better players we had there. We had Drogba, uh, who is actually very good. Butra Gueno, who's very good. Um, we had a few of the newer players for the year as well so for example Drogba wasn't one of the new icons that year um don't don't think Balak was I think Sancho might uh, sorry Sanchez might have been uh one of the new ones uh Guardiola was one of the new ones from last year as well that was a card everyone used as well I remember that Mirisab Close was one of the new ones from last year too Perlo was one of the new ones from last year um so we got about four or five maybe of the new icons from last year into the icon swaps uh, I think Ian Wright also was one of the new ones from last year um and they had like obviously the tier system i've actually got the tier system for all three icon swaps we can have a look at um so we're gonna have a look at the first set of tiers um and 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 have a look sort of how many they they each require so drogba was 23 tokens so there's 24 tokens available drogba was 23 haji was 20 owen was 20 Butcher was 19, Gerard was 19, the base icon pack was 18, uh, Hugo Sanchez was 17, uh, Zanetti was 17, Rui Costa was 17, Ian Wright was 16, Rio Ferdinand was 16, Rivaldo 15, Roy Keane 15, Andrea Perlo 14, Michael Ballack 14, 12 for Crespo, Closer and Cliver, 11 for Carlos, 9 for Nesta and Ryan Giggs and 8 for Akotja uh, and Guardiola, 6 for Smichael. So, uh, reality, they kind of, in my opinion, I think it was quite fair uh, in terms of tokens, uh, how they kind of got I thought Rio um, at only, I think, 16 tokens was actually very fair last year. Um, it was a very fair uh, system they put in. And as you can see, we have all of the other um, tokens you could get and what they required. So, for example, um, you had the easy ones, like win nine foot champions matches for Dunleavy. Um, this one was win three rival matches using seven first owned uh, Bundesliga players. Um, this one was win five squad battle matches on min legendary difficulty using 11 EFL championship players. So, they were kind of easy and hard uh some were harder than others some were easier than others uh they required
quite a lot of playing, though. That's what I will say. If you wanted to get all 24, you had to grind the game, in my opinion. Um, and only half of them were made available for the first six weeks of it. And then the uh, the other half were made available in the second season for Icon Swaps. Uh, whether they do that this year or not, I have no idea. Um... Then we can look at Icon Swaps 2, which involved Vieira, Ronaldinho, and Essien. You know, gradually they got better and better as the game progressed. So this was around Team of the Year time, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we got the Icon Swaps 2, uh, where you could get, like, base Ronaldinho. You know, you got better players to grind towards. And the lower tier had better players, like Raul and, and Socrates and Zambrotta. Um, and then the third and final Icon Swaps was towards the end of the game. This was more, I think, May, uh, May time, March, April, May time, uh, where we got the likes of Zidane, Garinch, Carlos Alberto, for the top tier, you had uh, Maradona, Moments Petit, Moments Cadavaro, Kaka, Burkham, Rush, and even on the lower tier, you actually got like a Paolo Maldini, which uh, was only 13 tokens for one of the better CBs in the whole game. So, as the game progresses, you get better and better and better uh, icons available in icon swaps. Um, but we will probably start off with a low uh, tier set of icon swaps you know we may even see some of these players return i think it'll be a lot of base icons a few mid icons one or two prime icons ea likes to put in a couple of prime icons that are going to be usable for a long time um but they take a lot of grinding as well and as they mentioned they're going to be a lot more pack rewards so um you know i think in in the middle i uh, uh oh sorry second icon swaps uh we've got a mid icon pack and then for the last icon swaps if I'm a, uh, yeah nine tokens for a prime icon pack this is one of the better value uh, swaps I think we ever got was nine tokens for a prime icon pack and I imagine that with the first set of icon swaps for this year for FIFA 21 I actually think what EA will do is they'll probably release um, a middle or a, a, a base icon pack for a very low amount of tokens maybe a mid icon pack for like eight nine ten tokens base icon for four or five tokens um and we'll probably get maybe half the amount of players with things like 100k packs for a couple of tokens a 50k pack for a couple of tokens maybe um uh, along that route which i think would be pretty cool and i think it'd be really cool if ea bring out promo guaranteed packs for example a guaranteed team of the group stage for five tokens that i, th I think would be really cool it had a lot of merit to icon swaps which i get is icon swaps but also um it's it's just swaps you know, it would be fun if it was just swaps and it, you know, added a bit more dynamic into the the whole idea of icon swaps because I think it just makes it a little bit more fun if there's a, a few different things in there that make it a little bit more versatile. Now, what I've done is I've gone and grouped the new icons in three different groups of players that I think we will get. For example, I don't think for the, for the first set of icon swaps, there's any chance we get an Eto or a Cantonar. I think that Eto will probably be, if we get an Eto or a Cantonar, they're going to be in the second or third set of icon tops at the very top as well because they are they are top tier icons. You know that they they are very very good icons from the new set of icons that we got. Um, but I've I've put together uh, I think three different tiers the the uh base tier which will be like between five and ten tokens the mid tier will be between sort of nine and 18 tokens and then the top tier ones that i think would be a little bit higher um based on usability and, and how long they will be top tier icons if that makes sense so uh check i, I mean goalkeepers ea typically don't charge a lot for goalkeepers in terms of tokens usually they're like between sort of five and eight tokens for a goalkeeper ea are pretty fair when it comes to that they know that no one really wants a goalkeeper but you know for a couple of tokens getting an icon in the club might not be a bad idea and i think one thing that these do as well is that when we get higher tier icon spcs that require icons you know getting a check for five tokens might not be the worst idea in the world because it will help you do an spc for cheaper um the mid tier i would say uh these players do fit into a mid tier and the reason why someone like uh, i know i know you can argue against say alarm village and cole you know you can't see them being less than... I don't think they'll be less than 10 tokens. What I feel like is they'll probably be like 11, 12, 13, 14 tokens for these kind of players. Um, but I think that Larm is a good player, but also uh, has a shelf life on this game, in my opinion. As a, and, and to be fair, left backs and right backs, you can use the base icons and stuff for a very long time. You know, Furl and Mendy's going to be the best left back in the game for a very long time. So I suppose um, the shelf life is maybe extended a little bit more for a left back than it is for a 70 pace CB. Uh, however, um, you know, when we get uh four or five promos down the line in a few months we'll probably have a lot more left backs in the game that are better than cole and Larm. and the only sort of factor that they'll bring in is the fact that they are icons so you know they have that that icon factor they can link to anyone and they can bring you good chemistry uh which might make them a little bit more valuable a little bit more desirable um so for me uh if i was i'm not making a prediction but if i was to say like for example cole and Larm, i would say Larm would be 12 tokens cole would be 11 tokens um 
I think Lam is a little bit more desirable than Cole, even though Cole say got better pace. I think that Lam has got a little bit better in terms of defending, dribbling, passing, and stuff like that, and it makes him a bit more desirable. Um, so I would say like Cole maybe eleven tokens or twelve tokens, Lam twelve maybe thirteen. I think Vidic will be thirteen or fourteen tokens, similar to uh, Rio last year. However, as he's only got seventy pace, and he, you know he's not as desirable as Rio was last year with over eighty pace. I think that EA might recognize that and make him thirteen, fourteen tokens. And EA do like putting the new icons into icon tops to make them desirable for a lot of people to complete so i can see vintage being in the new icon tops and for davor sucre as well because it's a very nice card but also like this year we've had a lot of promos and we've had a lot of promo cards and a lot of players to grind for um i feel like the likes of a davor sucre unless you just want him for the sake of wanting a new icon or or you know you haven't got the best of team um a lot of players already have mbappes and things like that which are better than suka in my opinion again more meta than suka you know he's not got the best pace he, you know he's, he's great sh shooting i've used the card he's actually a really good card but more people are going to be gravitating towards the ronaldo's the mbappes and things like that and as they drop in price as well a suka would be less valuable for a for an icon swap so i can see him being sort of 14 15 tokens maybe on the mid category um you know being thrown in there because it's a, it's a nice new card it's fun uh but i also don't think it'll be necessarily the most uh desirable of icon swaps um and you gotta remember as well um with there being less less players there might be less combinations one thing that made icon swaps very um enticing was combinations so you could get if you completed 21 tokens you can get a 10 token and 11 token player you have two decent icons for your team or like a five token a six token guardiola and like a 16 token uh rio you know it made it very desirable to complete 22 tokens when you get to that 14 15 category you get less combinations um so you know there's less players that you can say go for a devil suka and an ashley cole it might not be possible um so it might make him less desirable for, to go for a suka knowing that you might only be able to afford a check or like a pack uh as well um and then for the top tier i've gone with uh four of the new icons i think will be in the top tier of the first icon slot because they're good players but i don't think that they are good they're going to be good enough to warrant being 23 tokens for longer than a month or two um you know tevez javi look very nice but i can't see him being over 20 tokens in the second icon swaps um but in the first icon swaps i think is definitely fair and definitely uh yeah you can definitely ask for that many um you know schweinsteiger is he's a really really good midfielder but his pace lets him down a lot and his dribbling sometimes lets him down a lot so i can see him being maybe like 18 19 tokens um and not as desirable to complete um with team of the year coming around and things like that you know because we've got so many good midfielders as well um same with the beckham like beckham is a, obviously a new icon has got a very good desirability factor that way because it's a new icon and, and obviously for a lot of english people as well a beloved icon we love david beckham he's a, he's a national treasure um but uh, this kind of card will be heavily outmatched by promo cards within you know maybe a few weeks we'll probably get better foot sentiments than we will for this baby beckham but he's got that um desirability factor being beckham being new in the game and stuff like that so ea might use his fancy shiny face brand new in the game to slap onto a, a you know a masterboard of, of of brand new icons in icon swaps so that's my opinion personally and obviously we'll we'll see returning icons being put in there as well i've just hit my desk and that really hurt uh, but we'll, we'll we'll see a lot of returning icons and things like that um and i'm excited to see what pack rewards ea put in there if they're putting more packs in there i think that could be fun hopefully we see like brand new variations of packs i think it'd be really cool getting an icon pack that is like uh an 85 to 91 rated icon i think that would be kind of weird but fun because it doesn't guarantee a base or a middle for example you can get a middle eusebio or a base eusebio in that uh and it gives you two shots again an incredible icon and also people like like eto you know that don't like it doesn't get you the chance of getting like a mid or nine but you could get a mid hole i don't know i think it'd be something, something like that'd be really fun in my opinion um just because sometimes if you if it's a guaranteed base or a guaranteed middle icon only getting the opportunity to pack one variant of icons for example one variant of eusebia one variant of hullet it lowers your chances a lot and i think being able to pack two variants of that kind of player would be pretty cool but that's just my opinion let me know what you th your thoughts are down below thank you all for watching this video if you guys did enjoy please leave a like down below subscribe if you guys are new around here thank you all for watching and i'll see you lads later